Welcome to another episode of OpenRCT2 Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your own carousel, like this 7x7 tile version, or also the 5x5 tile version you saw in my Cliffside Park video. Now what's neat about these carousels is they're larger than the standard one in the game, and you can use some little tricks like you can see here, where the Virginia Reel tubs will rotate every other rotation. So just a fun addition to your park. So let's get started. First we need to turn on some cheats. We need to turn on show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits. Now I like to start with the dinghy slide, and that's because it's easier to hide the track. So I'm gonna go, I guess, clockwise. And basically you just need to make a tunneled loop. But when we get here, now this is an optional step, but if you change the ride type to Tunnel of Horror, you can add a spinning tunnel. It won't be seen, but it adds like 0 0.03 excitement points to your ride. Now let's change it back to dinghy slide, and we can continue building. Now here is another trick you don't have to do, but if you want to change it to spinning wild mouse, you can add that toggle track so that the Virginia Reel cars will spin every other rotation, only if you want. Now let's change it back to dinghy slide, and we will complete the circuit. And now there we have our carousel. Now add the entrance and exit. Turn that on just so you can see. And now we're gonna go change the operating mode to powered launch passing station and set it to 11 miles per hour, although you can set it to whatever you'd like. And then we are gonna go to the vehicles and change it to hyper coaster trains. And that is because the cars are the correct size to space out the horses. Also gives you a 15% bonus on excitement. So we're gonna use one train with 15 cars. Next, we have to go change the ride type to something like, let's say, the hypercoaster, and that will allow us to change the operating mode number of circuits. But first, let's give the ride a test. So here you can see it's one big train, but it's not too long that it won't stop in the station. So here, as the first car comes around, it still makes its complete circuit and stops. Now let's give it a different color scheme to look more like horses. All right, now to get those horses, we need to use a plugin called Edit Ride Vehicles. If you don't have this, there's a link in the video description, but this plugin allows us to select rides and change the vehicle types as well as a bunch of different features. So here I've selected the ride and we're on vehicle one and the visual is a hypercoaster train, but we need to change that to horses. So now we're gonna select horses and that will update the visual to horses even though it's a hypercoaster train. And if we click down here, we have apply to all vehicles on the train. But if you have a different color scheme, it will apply this color to everything. So we'll hit apply and now we have our carousel. Uh, but if you want to add those Virginia Reel tubs or something like that, we can add that to every fifth vehicle. So here we're on vehicle five, and now we can change the visual to the Virginia Reel tubs. And now it will function as so. And then for vehicle 10, let's do something like the side friction cars. Uh, you can do whatever you want, really. And then let's just try something for vehicle 15. Let's do uh, the stagecoach, because that will allow you to have a Western style carousel if you want. And there we have it. So we have our carousel, and let's give it a test. Now, if you want to update the paint, you can definitely do that through the plugin. But the problem is when you update it in the actual ride window, it's going to update everything and override the plugin. So I would recommend just doing your color scheme within the ride window. So change the colors to whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. But now we are going to have to go back to the operating mode, increase the number of circuits to whatever you'd like. And now we have our working carousel, and you can see the Virginia Reel tubs are spinning, but when it gets to that toggle track, it will stop spinning like so. So every other rotation it will spin, so it's just a fun trick if you want to add it. But now we have to get rid of the entrance and exit, so go to your tile inspector. And we are going to select the station piece and make it invisible. And then we are going to select the exit and you're gonna go and copy it. And then we're gonna move it here. So you're gonna paste, and then make sure you rotate it so it's facing, it's facing the correct direction. 
and press make usable, otherwise it won't work. And then we take the old one and delete it. So now we have a fully working carousel, but the stats suck. So we're gonna have to change that. So if we change the ride type to air powered vertical coaster, the stats are gonna have higher intensity and nausea, low excitement, unfortunately, but it is better than nothing. However, you cannot update the number of circuits under this ride type. So let's change it to something else. Uh, let's change it to the mine ride. Now that is going to give us some slightly better intensity and nausea, but low excitement. Uh, so another way you can change the stats is to use the plugin again. And let's select that ride. And then you go to edit ride and make sure you click freeze ride rating calculation. And then you can use the multiplier and increase the excitement if you'd like. So it's a cheat, but it works. And there we have our carousel. Moving on to the 7x7 tile version, we will construct it just the same. However, I will not use the toggle track for this example. We're going to set up the operating mode similarly with the powered launch passing station, although I'm going to use 15 miles per hour just because the turn radius is larger. Now for the vehicles, we're going to use the air powered vertical coaster, set it to one train, but with 57 cars. It seems like a lot, but I'm going to show you why. So once you have your 57 cars set, I'm going to make it so you can see the train a little bit better. So now we have an extremely long train, but there's a reason for that. So now we will open up the Edit Ride Vehicle plugin again, and we need to change all of these cars to something invisible. So I like to use the log trains, so it's going to change Vehicle 1 to a log train. Uh, it's under Variant 0, which is this car as you can see, so we're going to change it to Variant 2 which is going to be invisible. So now what we can do is apply this to all of the vehicles on the train, and now they're all invisible. So we're still on vehicle one, so we're gonna change that to a horse. And now we have our horse here, so we just need to copy that, and it's gonna copy this information, and then we can apply it to every third vehicle. And we're gonna paste it and then count one, two, three, paste it again, and I'll speed it up, and then you have your entire carousel of horses, and we're good to test it. So let's just change it to air powered vertical coaster and turn it on test mode. Actually, let's change it to hyper coaster so I can add three circuits to it. So now let's restart the cycle. So the train should make three full circuits, and every time it passes the station, it should say arriving at station which it did just there. So that means the game has recognized that the train has made a full circuit. The problem is, as you see just now, the train passed through the station, but it never said arriving at station. The train is too long, so the game is not recognizing every circuit it makes. So let's speed things up and see if it recognizes any more. All right, yep, so that was the second revolution the game recognized. But as we keep going around, the game just isn't registering that the train is making this circuit. So every time I've tested this, it varies how many times it goes around, speeding it up. Oh, so it finally stopped. So for three revolutions, it was over a minute, almost a minute and a half. So to remedy this problem, we'll open up the plugin again and you select vehicle one here. So we're gonna select that vehicle and we're gonna use the track progress here, which moves the vehicle forward and backwards. And so we're gonna just go one tick backwards. And that's all you need to do. And so now when we test it, the train will go around three times like it's supposed to. And here as it goes through the station, it registered that it made the circuit. And then we'll speed it up. There's number two. And then here is number three and the train should stop. And that's all there is to it. Now everything works as intended. So last thing you need to do is give it some paint colors and edit the ride stats and you're all set. Now, if you don't wanna to go to all of this trouble, I've actually saved these tracks so you can download them. The link is in the video description. You'll download them and then they will show up under Steel Wild Mouse. So here is the five by five version. You're just gonna place it. And then if you give it a test, it's gonna show those hyper coaster trains. So then you're gonna to have to update the speed of the launch. And then let's change it to hyper coaster so we can edit the circuits and then you give it a test and everything should work as it should. Now let's make it the air powered vertical coaster. And if we go to edit ride vehicle plugin, we can change everything to horses. So we will select horses from the drop down list like we've done before. 
Now the only problem with this is I've preset the colors for this ride. So the colors are already set. So when you apply this to all vehicles, we need to click type and variant only. So it won't apply that color scheme to all of the other vehicles. So we'll click apply. And now everything worked as it should and all of the colors are preset. And if we go to the fifth vehicle, we can change that to Virginia Real. And then we can do that for vehicles 10 and 15, and then use the tile inspector to move the exit and make sure you hide the station, which I forgot to do. Now, moving on to the seven x seven version, we'll place it just the same, and you are going to start up the ride. Now we have the air-powered vertical coaster vehicles. You use the plugin, we'll select vehicle one, and we're gonna change everything to the log trains to make them invisible and then make sure you use the type invariant, otherwise all of my preset colors will be gone. So now everything is invisible. Now we change it to horses for vehicle one. Now you can't use the copy and paste method for this or the color presets will disappear. So manually you go to every third vehicle and change it to horses. It's tedious, but then you don't have to go through and change all the colors individually, but there you have it. And now we have to make sure you go to vehicle one and go to track progress and move it back one unit. And then we are ready to open the ride. Let's change it to hyper twister so we can update the number of circuits to whatever you'd like. And now we can change it to air powered vertical coaster for better stats. Let's test it. Oops, looks like we need to increase the launch speed. And there we go. Now all that's left to do is move the exit and make sure you hide the station, make it invisible, and you're all set. We got a working carousel. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build your own extreme recreation. It's this little ride here that dangles guests over the cliff. So yeah, stay tuned for more as I go through all of the rides from my cliffside park and show you how to make them yourself.